Today, friends, Rockstar has blessed upon us this thing, which is clearly the Hummer H1 on a little bit of um, the stuff that I can't say yet because it hasn't been 30 seconds. This thing is a meaty patriot in GTA Online, and I am a little bit disappointed that Rockstar didn't give us this during the snow. I'm still wearing my Christmas outfit. I know the snow is coming back because it usually does for New Year. Sorry. Oh my goodness, I can drive over things. Uh, this thing is going to be an absolute beast to customize. Of course, we are talking about like weaponized vehicles for these drain missions. And I still haven't completed all of them. I will be streaming today to get those done. But look at this thing. It is so massive. I could just... <laughs> yeah, you know what? Instantly love this thing. Why don't we get this during the snow? Surely that would have made more sense than a supercar. Not that the supercar is bad, but I, I kind of... That would have been nice, Rockstar. Move! Sorry. The garage is definitely filling up with pretty sick cars. I actually made a video on this, a stream on this, but I didn't actually upload that. Sorry about that. But, <laughs> oh God, we've still got two of them. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Rockstar gave me three and a half million back for moving my arcade. You may have heard me complain about that on the live, but anyway, let's jump into this cu this customization. This thing looks really sick on the interior. It's not like anything you would expect from a Hummer H1. Definitely would have been like a conversion process. They've done some work to this thing. Is it only... What is the point of that big black space there? Surely you could make this a six-seater. That could have been a thing. Why is this not a six-seater? That is very bizarre. At least a, like, five-seater. Come on, mate. Ridiculous. Anyway, let's customize this thing. Make it look all spicy and nicey. We're going to go for the full armor upgrade. I'm going to make this thing basically the idea... Oh, my God. Goodness, that is probably the coolest armor plating I've seen thus far. It looks like it has some protection around the windows, at least the side windows. Uh, <laughs> but I want to make this thing proper mission ready. I want this thing to be ridiculous. I want to ram people. I want to bully people to the extreme. I'm talking about AI. We, we, ain't, we ain't talking about no, but unless it's a flying bike, then we can bully the flying bike. That looks pretty sick. I've got to say my favorite style so far is got to be this with the bar there at the front. The light bar looking super sick. Then we can customize the front bumper. See, is that going to mess the clearance up? Because we were just riding over the top of people. If that is the case, I'm not going to do any of these. Honestly, a winch would be useful. I wish I could actually use it. That would be nice. Oh, I just realized it has one stock. I couldn't see it. I, maybe I'm genuinely going blind. Anyway, in that case, this makes it higher, which makes it even more likely, hopefully, for me to ride over stuff. We'll see what the hitboxes are like. I think my favorite is probably going to be... I like the matte black ones. Look at that. He's not going for the last option for once. Carrying through. We've got rear bumpers that are about the same... I kind of like this one. Again, we go for the black kind of matte colored one opposed to the chrome. What is that? Whose car is that? That ain't my car. You see that? that, that <laughs> I'm just lost a little bit. That might be Frank, one of Franklin's whips. Oh, that's the exhaust? <laughs> uh, they've now made it so I can actually rev. Maybe it was just the other car that couldn't rev. Give me smokestacks, please. No smokestacks. We've got dual, <laughs> dual exits, though. That looks pretty sick. Uh, I'm going to go for the matte black again. We're, we're going a little bit more subtle with this build, he says. He's probably going to go for a massive camo. Shh. We don't talk about that. That's a sick hood. But at the same time, I kind of want to keep the ability to change the color of it. So we're going to keep the stock hood. Now you can't call me a ricer because I kept the stock option for once. You know, for, for once. Carry through. Let's get it. Imani Tech, which one are we actually going to go for then? We've got the remote control unit and the missile lock on jammer. The remote control unit would be super fun on this, but the lock on jammer is going to be more useful for this thing. We've got lights. What are the headlights already like? I prefer the white light, so that's how we're going to stay. Liveries, finally, we chose a white color. Oh, nice. Little subtle military issue sticker on the side. Patriot on the side. Patriot, in case you didn't know, guys. Patriot's been a thing in GTA. For such a long time, it's one of the longest reigning brands in GTA history. If you if you if you're a youngin, in case you didn't know, Patriots are just oh mate, they're fantastic. They're big, heavy, bulky. As you can imagine, we've got digital camos. I kind of like this camo right here, the large camo 
looks pretty good. I think I want to change the color to try and mix it up. Otherwise, I might just go for a normal Patriot look. We got the... Hey! Controller! We have mirror customization. Oh, I look... What? How could... That's something I've never understood except when I've been driving trucks. Now I've been driving trucks. I don't understand why a set of mirrors could make such a big difference to a vehicle. Why does it make it cooler? I really don't understand. Does it make any sense? Absolutely not. Now, mounted machine gun. Oh, mate, look at that. Mounted machine guns on this thing just need to happen. The taller cars are better in terms of having the machine guns on, so highly recommended. Proximity mines. We've got the respray. We've got the roof customization. Carry. Let's go. Let's go. I can't actually see because it's bloody reflective. Uh, stock roof is actually darker. Oh, I, I was going to say I like the stock roof color, but at the same time, having things on the roof is always sick. We've got the dual bars if someone can't sit in there with a sofa or something i don't want it side bars carry on what do we got i want some like bare metal looking ones oh yeah that's much cooler to me the metal ones especially black metal paint i say bare metal and then say black painted metal you just yeah i know we can lower this thing how low can we go with this thing you know what no not happening doesn't make sense to lower this thing we, we want to ride over peeps still uh, stock I'm going to say this, the uh, plate delete at the rear looks pretty nice. Transmission upgrade, probably needed for something like this. Truck bed, because, oh, we got the full SUV truck boy experience here. Look at that. We've got the hard top as well, in case you want that. With a window, that's pretty spicy. I like that. With two windows. I think I've already made my decision. I like it. When does this wheel on the back? Just in case, you know, we have a blowout or something. Turbo upgrade this thing. What? Look at the acceleration. That's pretty good. We could go GTA Online player and go like <laughs> big pimping with the wheels. Do I want to do it? You know, I kind of have a little bit of a want there. Now, you know me. I like to go away a little bit and uh, customize it some more. So that's what we've done. Chosen my favorite parts for this thing. And it looks awesome. You can see the respray has actually gone into the interior, actually, on the seats, right? Is that... I need to get in and make sure that's real. Yeah, yeah, it's gone for the same color on the exterior on the interior. No, it hasn't. It just, it's almost reflecting it. I didn't check if there was a second respray. I truly should have done that. There is indeed a secondary color. <laughs> I forgot about that completely. Oh, it just changes the roof a little bit. So that's a secondary color there. And is that, is that all it changes? I think it is. So in that case, We've got like a gloss black on the roof. I want to make that into a matte black. I think it, it just looks nicer. It suits the rest of the car. We've got matte on the front, matte on the grill, matte on the side. It, we're doing matte. Now, the wheels are probably going to be the controversial part of this, but I want it to go like semi big pimping, semi bully. We need to see if it actually works now. This thing could possibly be one of my favorite vehicles in GTA Online. I never actually like big SUVs normally, but the Hummer H1 ain't no suv 4x4 slash trucks is different you know this is the humvee hummer big boy big big behemoth machine that chopper just fell out the sky did you see that i just saw that right can we still ride over people i hope so uh, i don't know let's try it come on again you know i think we're just gonna be smashing people now i think we're just gonna bully people instead of riding over them i, I, I want to if, I, if that's the case, yeah, yeah, I'm just hitting things now. If that's the case, if I cannot run things over still, I want to remove that bumper and actually try that again. That needs to be a thing. I need to be able to do that in this thing. It's tall enough. Maybe it's the tires too. We'll have to have a little play around with it. We're going to keep going back and forth until I found out. Yeah, there's no way I'm doing it. All right, back to the garage. In my head, it's got to be the wheels or the front bumper. You guys, of course, can let me know if I'm wrong, but we're going to try it. So let's go for the bumpers. We're going to remove that front bumper that we put on. Just go back to stock. I much prefer that front bumper, but listen, if I can ride over people. Here we go. Yes. Oh, yes, we've got it, ladies and gents. It is the front bumper. Don't put that front bumper. <laughs> Don't put that front bumper on because we want to ride over fools. We want to do it. Ah, uh, that one's a little bit too... No, he's not! Ain't nothing too tall for the big behemoth patriot mammoth. Oh, excuse me, big horn. Oh, I haven't got the horn anymore. I kind of want the horn. I might... Re I've just set this... <laughs> I've set the mine up on myself. Whee! <laughs> what about you, big dog? 
Get the hell out of the way. I just smash into him. I'm actually not that tall. I'm surprised. Wait. I was going to say, is that the new DLC guy? It's not. <laughs> it's, it's the old one. Oh! This thing is genuinely awesome. <gasps> the light bars work. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, I'm surprised by the, the fact that light bars are working. That shows the quality of, of normal light bars. Move! I almost wonder as well if the off-road tires help us climb vehicles. I, it, it would make sense in my mind because I think they are maybe a little bit or, you know, maybe I should just not try and go at full speed, full pelt. Let's go, big dog! Oh! It feels weaker. I'm gonna be honest. It's like half and half, trying to climb over things. <laughs> Mate, this is so sick. I could do this all day. I think I'm going to on the stream. <laughs> I love this vehicle. This is probably one of my favorite cars they've added in this update. My bumper's still getting a little bit caught there. Let's try it. Come on. Power. Power! Speed of power! He's pushing me! Mini Koopa! Mini Koopa! Look at the size difference! That is just ridiculous. For those that don't know, we, we, we don't get anything like this big. It's just not possible. I saw an F-150 imported. Of course, we don't get the F-150 the other day. And my lord, it's so big. It makes every... It makes buses look small. Sucker, Willy! <laughs> Man, oh man. Yeah, highly recommend this car. Of course, we do have the... Where's my gun? I put the gun on it. Where are my shooty boys? There we go. It's working now. Just got in and out of the vehicle. And all of a sudden, my shooty boys be working. Hey, hey, hey. Where you think you're going, man? You know, this car might actually be too tall for the guns. There are some cars that are, like, too short to actually be useful for shooting people. But uh, this... This, this thing's maybe too tall. Except for SUV. No, even for even for SUVs, it's probably not that great. Oh, I take it back. Yeah, you know, this thing's pretty fly. I like it a lot. Check it out. I think this thing's a decent price. Got away from the police in my big old truck. That's the default horn, by the way. Really, really cool. So, yeah, the, the price of this thing is pretty good. You know it's going to be decent when it's on Southern San Andreas. 1.2 million, and you get this beast. Beautiful, the international symbol of self-importance, mammoth patriot, mil spec, military. Might be lacking standard safety features, but who cares about blind spots? When the only person you don't want to hit is sitting in the driver's seat. Install exclusive modifications at the agency workshop. Beautiful. Check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Subscribe, like, and peace.